Ultimately, a vast majority of current elected officials are career politicians, and they want to keep their job. And if the public pressures them to act and holds them accountable for failing to act, uh, then they will ultimately change uh, because many of their pr top priorities is to keep their job. There are a number of common denominators between countries and uh, some of the challenges that exist at the federal, state, and local level here in the United States. You know, in many cases, governments have grown too big, promised too much, and waited too long to restructure. I think we just don't know how to use money. I know that people my age never expect to get Social Security benefits. Hopeful, but I wouldn't say very optimistic. Look, a lot of people claim that the problem is still this slack capacity, unused workers. Why not just increase demand, employ all those workers, put those factories back to work? Well, it's important to look at the cases that actually have been working. Uh, for example, take Sweden. Uh, we have decreased taxes, we have deregulated, and we have uh, cut down on government spending. And in 2011, we made a budget surplus of $10 billion. Uh, a single data point, right? Look at these other countries. Greece, Spain, Italy, they're all depressed. The problem is slack capacity, excess capacity. Too many workers unemployed. Let's put them back to work. How do you get workers uh, uh, back into the employment ranks? You gotta increase demand for what they do. The only way to increase demand for what they do is for government to spend more because the private sector isn't doing it. Well, this is the things that the Kenyans always say, just pump more money into the economy. But it's important for us to look at all those times we have implemented these kind of theories. And the results have always been devastating. Japan in the 90s, the US in 01 and 08. What we do need is free man, free markets and productivity. We as persons are good, we can create things. Uh, but we can't do it when we're uh, buried in our burden of government regulations.